Welcome back to Mavericks Basketball on Valley Sports. We're getting ready for the Mavs and the Utah Jazz, but there's a lot more to talk about than tonight's game as I'm joined right now by Mavericks head coach Jason Kidd. Jason, let's get right to it because the Mavericks have made one of the biggest midseason trades perhaps since they acquired another guard from the Nets 15 years ago, and that is the acquisition of Kyrie Irving today. What was the impetus for this trade with, with Brooklyn to bring Kyrie on board? Well, I think when you look at the trade, uh, you look at the talent. Um, when you talk about Kai, um, being able to give some support to Luca, and so I, I think when you look at what Cuban and, and Nico were thinking about was trying to get a, another star next to Luca to help not just Luca but the, the team. And so uh, Kai's a winner. Uh, he, he understands what it takes to be a champion. He's an all-star. Uh, we have two Mavs starting in, in the all-star game, which I don't think has ever been done. Um, but the big thing is just we got a, a talented player uh, who can help us win. The hard part about trades is you have to give up something to get something. And in this case, you had to say goodbye to Spencer Dinwiddie, who has been very important for the Mavericks in his year here, and Dorian Finney-Smith, who's had a seven-year career and one of the top 15 players in team history in terms of games played. How hard was that aspect of the trade? It was hard because when you talk about Doe, he was raised by the Mavs. Uh, he was given the opportunity. He was so thankful. Um, he worked extremely hard. Uh, he was a big part of our success. Uh, you look at the trade that we did with KP to get uh, Spencer. He played at a high level. So to go to their room uh, yesterday and tell them uh, that they were traded, uh, but to just talk to them and, and thank them for everything that they did uh, was hard. But understanding it's a business, uh, they got that, and we wish them the best, and they're going to be successful in uh, Brooklyn. It's been reported that you have a pretty long-standing, close relationship with Kyrie Irving. How do you feel like that helps you in terms of bringing him here and helping him put his best foot forward on the floor and off the floor? Well, just understanding his talent and his basketball IQ, talking to him last night, he wants to be coached. Uh, he wants to win. Uh, he's ready to go. And so uh, I'm excited, um, not just uh, to be able to coach someone like this, but for him to be able to help everyone on the floor. What's the plan of action in terms of getting him here, getting him up to speed, and getting him on the floor playing in a game, which, of course, all of our MFL viewers want to see? Yeah, I think, uh, well, for that, tomorrow he'll meet us uh, in L.A. Uh, hopefully we'll get him on the floor, and then uh, hopefully he'll be ready to go on Wednesday. It'll be a quick turn, but uh, those guys get in tomorrow to L.A., and uh, hopefully he can participate in practice and then be ready to go on Wednesday. Jay Kidd, thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Mark.